I'm Miss Kaiser, or you can call me Miss K. Welcome to music. Okay, before we get started, we've got some rules and procedures, but let's do it with a little bit of fun. When you're waiting outside to enter the class, here's some things you shouldn't do. Banging on the door, touching the windows, and being silly in the hallway. Instead, just stand there and wait calmly and quietly. When entering the classroom, you should not come in loud, yelling, running around, flailing your arms, or being silly. Instead, you should come in calmly, quietly, with your hands by your side, walking to your assigned seat where you sit crisscross applesauce and look to the board. Our welcome song. When singing our welcome song, as you can see right now, I am not happy. I don't want to sing it. I don't want to have anything to do with it. And I am distracting others and I am in their space. This is not okay. And it is not good for our singing and I'm grumpy. Instead, I can clap along, follow the directions of the song and I should be singing correctly, not in a high squeaky silly voice, but a good happy sounding voice. And I can enjoy myself when it's time for brain breaks. It might be tempting to move to a different spot or to the front because you wanna be able to see, which makes everybody else mad, but you're not in your assigned spot, so now everybody can't see. As well, it might be tempting to go walk over to your friends, say hello, have a conversation, and then run around the classroom, play tag. These are all things that are not for our safety and can get you or others hurt. Instead, we should stay on our assigned seat, follow the exact same dance moves as on the screen. If you're having trouble seeing, that's totally fine. Just step over just a little bit. If you happen to be in someone's way, apologize and then move over a little bit more. We might need to bob and weave, but we shouldn't be in other people's space. During our vocal warm up, as you can see, I don't wanna sing, I don't wanna do the movements, so I'm just sitting there and now I'm halfway doing the movements because I was told I wasn't and I quit. Now I am doing the correct movements. I am singing correctly with a good full voice and I am working on my vocal range. This is how we should be doing our vocal warmups every day. With the materials and instruments in our rooms, everything that are on these shelves belong to Pine Street Elementary Music Department. Think about it like as if I went to your house and I went to your shelves in your bedroom or wherever you keep your stuff. You probably wouldn't like it if I went through all your drawers and started touching everything. It's the same in the music room. Everything I'm showing you, you should not touch unless you've had permission, especially the piano and the piano bench. You should not sit or touch or lean on the piano or the piano bench at any time. This also goes for our buckets and our desktops. You should not turn them on, touch them, or be near them. During the lesson, we need to participate. In this video, I'm following along, but I have a question. I wait patiently for the teacher to finish, answer my question, and then we get right back to participating in the lesson. When it's time to leave music class, we sit on our assigned number. Now, it looks like I didn't want to wait for my, num my team numbers to be called, so I ran over everybody and got to the number one spot. This time, I waited for the green team to be called. I looked and I'm sitting on number five. I carefully walk around my classroom, find the number five on the spot, look straight ahead and keep my hands and feet to myself. And that's it. That's all we have to do. Now we know what we should and shouldn't do in music class. All right, let's get going. 